So today, Beavers episode number four, we're back. I don't know what we're doing today. All I know is we're going to play a couple games. Honestly, it might be one of those episodes where I just, I try a bunch of different things. Lorenzen might be in the outfield. I might call up somebody. We might see Art Saunders minor league debut. I don't know yet. I'm just kind of sitting here. I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes looking at free agents, looking at the trade block, looking at our roster, just kind of seeing like what, what can I do? What can be done? What needs to be done? I already know what needs to be done, everything, but that's that's besides the point. Today, we're we're just we're we're just hopping into it and hoping it isn't as bad as last episode with Tati. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you do, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy the content. And of course, get in the comment section. You guys have been awesome on the support on this series, the likes, the comments, all that stuff. I appreciate it. Let's just hop into it. Okay, so what I'm thinking today is another two games. It might be like I'm, I'm kind of hoping by like maybe episode ooh, we're already at episode four right yeah we're at episode four is this episode four is this episode two this is episode four so what i'm thinking here is like maybe maybe try to get into like maybe texas and then maybe like the thing is like i don't like simming all because i was gonna say let's play the angels but like i don't want to lose this whole month so maybe I'm thinking maybe like the Rangers and then maybe like Houston and then maybe we throw in Art Saunders debut and we call it a day. We get three games in today's episode. Then the next episode we finish off May and then episode six will be the draft, right? Because this is four. Episode five will be the end of May. Episode six would be the draft. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So today let's take on the Rangers. I'm going to use brent honeywell we're gonna see how he's doing tom eshelman's having a pretty good season so far so i think i'm gonna let the cpu handle that game and then what we'll do is we'll we'll rock with brent honeywell for today maybe see how that goes if it doesn't go well maybe we just play art saunders debut and go from there you guys asked me to make him a third baseman permanently that's what i did that's why his overall dropped a little bit but you can see he hasn't even had a at bat yet they haven't started their season yet so nothing to worry about there but overall i'm gonna make a couple changes to the lineup test out a couple different players today see how i feel with them the trade block is starting to update so i'm gonna keep my eye on different players that pop up as the season progresses i like the idea of gavin lux i like because like honestly we could use whatever right like second base is a little open like if we look at our depth chart i guess that's the best way to look at it so like Second base, we don't really have anybody for the future, right? I mean, we have Robert Pawson, but like outside of that, we do have Anthony Volpe or Volpe. Still not sure how to say his name, but again, like that's still two, three years down the line. So like we could use someone to help us out. Outfield, I feel like we're pretty comfortable with, with like all the players that we have. First base is still a little bit of a question mark. Third base, I'm thinking Art Saunders is probably hopping in later on this year or next year. It's like we could just we could just use a little bit of help everywhere. So we'll we'll kind of figure out what we're doing here. But I think I think the big thing here is if I find something that just looks too good to pass up, obviously a Shane Bieber or a J Ram looks like unbelievable, right? But picking up somebody that like, you know, could help us out for the future, like a Gavin Lux or someone like Fran Mill, even though I don't really do well with Fran Mill every every time I have him on my team. But something like that, where it's like, just it's just a good player to get into the team for the future. You know, like a Nolan Gorman, maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we can find as this progresses. Vidal Brujan would be amazing, by the way. Ooh. I, maybe, maybe. Maybe Vidal Brujan. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. We'll, we'll see. I'll, I'm not going to make a trade this, this episode. But I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave it open. So... Let's get to this Texas game. Let's see how things go. We lose 10 to 2. We lose 7 to 6. So a little bit better there. I think we blew this save. We did. In the 9th. Oh no, we came back in the 9th and we lost it in the 10th. I think I was covering it so you guys couldn't see it. We win 4 to 3. Yes. All right, let's hop into this game. All right, I'm going to have quick counts off. You guys were saying use or just take off quick counts. Um, and then... Honeywell is in and then you guys have been telling me get him into the team. So let's do it Let's get him into the team. He's currently hurt though. 
we're gonna throw him in anyways we're gonna we're gonna see how he does let's see who's the most tired of our outfielders clint frazier all right lorenzen you're getting your shot out there in right field let's see how it goes and then we're facing spencer howard let's see here who else you know what chris chris davis is still doing really well though so ooh, i was gonna take out chris davis what i'm thinking is maybe andu hard first seth brown can come out we'll put let's put Hermosillo in and we'll take out harold castro because he's super tired we'll put elvis andrews in oh man this team is looking a little beat up a little tired okay i guess i guess that's what we're doing today jose rondon all right let's replace him uh, i guess with nico goodrum and that's why i kind of need that extra infielder we got to figure something out there all right are we good now Andujar isn't doing well i don't care skip it we're we're no one's doing well okay that's the rangers lineup obviously no Semyon, no seager but that's not the point we're here to win it's game time let's do it beavers i need i just need like an okay outing at least make it competitive so with that being said i did take away the pci i did take off quick counts and then on top of that ooh, what a shot of brent honeywell there He's, he's locked in. I can see it in his eyes. We're also going to move to directional. So it's a little bit more like a classic style hitting where it's mostly just focused on the ratings. That's what I was looking for. So everything's still kind of the, the whole classic feel. Everything's mostly just the ratings. So we're, we're just kind of here. We're a little bit more of passengers. Michael Lorenzen making the play. There we go. All right. Let's see. Let's see how Honeywell does. We're already at what four pitches now oh well that didn't take long that's a home run on the screwball that decided to hang up way too much even though that was nowhere nowhere where i aimed it i guess i'm gonna need to like aim it in the dirt for it to be useful that's exactly what i wanted right there and he just he just put it right down the middle for yoni hernandez and now we're uh that's a that's a good bounce back pitch but we're still down one nothing i'm liking this this uh jersey combo we got they got their blues on we got our greens on and we're we're, we're moving there you go i think he's gonna beat this out with the 80 speed though yeah he's safe i forgot to turn camera shift off all right we're good now i mean 74 speed might beat this out this might be a single there we go all right, we got two outs here. Taylor Trammell's up. This is his chance to shine. Nico Goodrum's on first. I mean, if we could not be late on that, that's absolutely mashed. That would have been crushed if we weren't late. Dang, that, that was the pitch of the at-bat. 100%. We're not going to get a better pitch. I lied. We're going to get a better pitch. Come on, man. Come on. We can't... We have a leadoff single. We don't we don't get base runners often. All right, so far good at bat. One, two. We're being a little patient. We just got to get that right pitch. I mean, we've missed two good ones. So, I mean, the odds of us. Oh, I'm late again. Early. Okay, two, two, two outs. Here we go. Shouldn't have swung at that. That was a bad swing. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Okay, two, two. Willie Calhoun's up. If we can get this change up, not there, but... We we'll get the out, so I'm not gonna complain. I didn't realize they had JJ Blade in the lineup. That's who's up right now. That's okay. I didn't I didn't notice that. So Marlins prospect, usually a rule five pick that happens in franchise because they never add him to the roster. So that's probably what happened is that he got chosen in the rule five draft, and that's why he's on this roster now. As we walk him. Okay, so we just need to double play. Pozo's up. That's got to be a strike, Blue. That's got to be a strike, man. I know Honeywell's struggling to locate pitches now, but we got to we gotta do something here. I mean, I got to throw one over the middle now. There we go. I mean, that's the problem now. It's like we're, we're in a tough spot where I have to th kind of throw it down the middle or we're not going to get a strike. So, I mean, I'm going to go to the change. Hopefully it works. It does. It's going to drop, though. Uh, Lorenzen, I'm going to need you to throw. Just be on target here. Are they going to go home with it? They aren't. But a double for Pozo. It was a full count. I honestly... He was late. It wasn't even a good swing. He was very late. That's even worse. All right. Let's see if we can get out of this inning. I mean, this one's... This is tough now. 
All right, this one's going to bring in a run. We are going to get the out, so I'm okay with that. But, man, again, 3-2 count. It's just he's struggling with command right now. It's really killing us. It's really killing us because, like, it's, it's really forcing us to throw pitches that are just really hittable. So, 2-0 again. Blue. Come on, man. And it's going to be a four-pitch walk. It's just... It's just not his day, I guess. He's just struggling with command. I mean, that's a good strike. We got Kiner Falefa. I mean, this this should be an out. That's... Mm, come on. 1-1. One, one. There we go. Please make the play. Please make the play. Get us out of this inning. <gasps> Woo! Good play. Good play out there. Good play out there. That's what I like to see. A run does come into score, but we get out of it. All right, so after two pretty solid innings, a walk. Not not what I want to see here in the fifth. Might have to start warming up the bullpen. Man, he's starting to miss. All right, let's get the bullpen going. Let's go with... Man, our bullpen's even just getting... Just, just eating innings, apparently. Please make the play. All right, just step on first. That's fine. Just the way, the way he was moving... There was no way we were going to get the lead runner. So, I'll take the out at first. I'm glad he made the play. I was surprised that he actually made the play. I was surprised he didn't go by him. So, at least we've got that. That was just a get over. You know, like that's not what you want to see. I'll take that screwball. It's coming in on the hands right there. I like it. So, a little slider away. Not ideal placement. But it got the out. So, okay. All right, there, there still is a guy on second. There is two outs, though, so so far so good. And it is, it is the guy who hit the home run, though, so hopefully he doesn't do it again. <laughs> who knows? Oh, okay. Not not great. All right, this has got to be Trammell's. This might be a triple with 90 speed. I mean, they're going to try it, right? No, but this... Yoni Hernandez, man, he is a thorn in my side right now. Like, holy cow. Two two RBIs, no home run. Oh, he's gonna steal third. Didn't even. Oh, okay. So guy on third now. It's it's O two. So if we get the slider, not there. I mean, he's he's gonna make the play. Thankfully, toss it over to first. Man, come on, Hernandez, get out of here. All right, switch to offset rather than fisheye. I think I like this angle a little bit better. I think this is what we're gonna rock with going forward. Yeah, I feel like the timing's still a little bit off for me, but like I definitely see pitches a lot better, and I I feel a lot more comfortable here. We're, I mean, obviously we're not gonna win, like, but I'm I'm seeing pitches a lot easier, so hopefully things get easier. But I mean, we're we're bad, so like, is it really gonna matter? No, it's not. All right, if I can get through the sixth, I think I'll be pretty happy with the outing from Honeywell. If Lorenzen can make this play, that'd be even better. I mean, he's got the speed. He's getting the animation. I'll take it. It's just offensively, we're not good. We're not good. My chair, I need some WD-40. Man, this thing is so squeaky lately. Like, I don't know if it's going to pick up on the mic now that I'm making noise. But, man, that was rough. All right. At, okay, I'll take that pitch. Get him way out in front of it. But the thing is, like, with Honeywell, it's like command. It's command. His command. I think I think he's got to go. We'll just go to Acevedo now. We'll put him in the game, and let's see if he can just, just just get us a couple innings. Maybe honestly, just get us through the sixth, and I'll be happy, and I'll get the others warmed up. That's a base hit. I think it's gonna get him to third. They're going. Can we get him? The throw's good. There we go, Armacio. There we go. That's a good throw. Going against the going against your your body like that, I like that. I like that. We get the out, even though they get the single. That's a big play. That is a huge play. So rather than first and third with one out, we got that two outs now. The thing is, that's not what I want. But you know what? We get out of the inning. I'll take it. That's a big play right there. I mean, that's probably like our second best hit ball all day. <laughs> all right, leadoff walk. You know the usual, just what we do. Acevedo has no control at all like none 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 it, it's non-existent it, it's just it, like he doesn't get anything near the strike zone it is wild thank god he made that play that was 
ripped at him. All right, come on, firing. All right. A single, a ground ball single. I think Acevedo is going to come out. We're going to bring in Quintana. Hopefully, he can, you know, eat the rest of the innings for the game. Uh, please, at least. We'll put him in. Like, he's full stamina. He hasn't been used the last couple days. I just, I need a double play here. We got one out. I also need a strike. Like, that would be, that would be lovely. Just give me a strike. Is this going to drop? Please don't drop. Come up firing. All right. There we go. We finally got Yoni Hernandez out. Thank the Lord. Because that guy has just been apparently the best player in baseball. You know? Two RBIs on the day. A home run. Can we just not allow them to score? 3 nothing. I can work with 3 nothing. I understand we're playing the lowly Rangers right now. Who clearly, you know, they, they don't have the same oomph that they do in real life now. But that's a strike, man. That's a strike, Blue. I, I need that call. That's one and two instead of two and one. That would have been strike three. I would have had him rung up. That would have been the inning right there. Let's get him with the fastball. Now it's a full count. Runners are going to be moving. And I need to just throw a strike here. And I don't. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We get robbed. Adolis Garcia is up. I just, I need the out. That's a good start. I, I, I just don't, I don't, I don't understand what's going on with this team, man. Besides that we suck. Like, and I suck. That's another thing. That That's another thing to take into consideration. I suck. Man. All right. We're going to, we're going to challenge him. Probably a really bad idea. It, it, it almost was a really bad idea, but we're going to go back to it. Two, two bad ideas in a row. We get him. Oh. Is this going to be another single? 74 speed. Can he do it? Okay. Okay. There we go. Never mind. Just kidding. Just kidding. Trout already has 10 home runs this season. That's unbelievable. I saw some of you guys were talking about he had a four home run game in last episode. Jeez. That's wild. As I'm surprised I didn't get rung up there, by the way. The umps, you know, doing the game. Seventh inning. We got two outs. Haven't really done anything this game. That should have hit me in the elbow. We should have had our second base runner of the game. I mean, I'm not even taking walks. That's another problem here. Normally, I've been a little bit patient. This game, I haven't been. That's going to be an out. It's going to be an out. That's just what it is. That It sucks. It, that was well hit, too. All right. You know what it is. Lead off walk time. I feel like just just chalk it. Like, it's if we're having a bingo card, lead off walk, easy, easy X. Just check it off. Check it off. Lead off walk every time. Every time. Pitcher's just not doing it. All right. Double play, please. Come on, let's start moving here. He's going to be safe. Could we move any slower on that one? Like, really? We're, we're going to be that slow on the double play there. He's probably going to steal on this one. So, uh, we're, we're going to attempt the pitch out, hopefully. They did not run. That is disappointing. So, now it's 2-0. and And, I mean, that's a good strike. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Three, three and one. Come on, man. Just throw a strike here. Come on. Oh, could have had the double play. Now we have first and second with one out. And Quintana is just, just not it, man. He, the, the whole, the whole team's bad. Um, I mean, I, I'm going to have to use my closer, dude. Like that's really what we're coming down to. Really just use whoever you can to get me the outs. That's really, that's really the philosophy here. I don't care the role. Just get me the outs. Because what is what is this right now? This is terrible. Two and one. Three and one. Holy cow. I got gifted a strike there. Gifted. Gifted a strike. That's going to be a run, I think. Unless, unless Lorenzen comes up firing... With his cannon. It's going to be close. Maybe if I hit the cutoff. Maybe if I hit the cutoff. It was still pretty close though. It was still pretty close. It was still pretty close. I mean, if Quintana can give me a double play here, that'd be great. Ooh, this is going to be a difficult play. This is going to be a difficult play. Come up firing. All right, I'll take it. Two outs. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Good pitch. Good pitch. I think this is the first time I've had a batter 0-2 all day. All day. 0-2. Here we go. There we go, Quintana. Got him looking. Woo. 
All right, Michael Lorenzen, let's uh, let's get this 0 for 2 day. Let's make it 1 for 3, please. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All righty, full count. I've been trying to work it a little bit since I haven't really worked Spencer Howard at all. I've made him look like a Cy Young candidate. So that is unfortunate. Very late. Please don't make the play. It is. Oh, that was a fastball down the middle, man. There you go, Hermosillo. First hit of the season. He was like 0 for 16 on the year. Finally breaks that drought. We got the hit. First and second. That was just a good, good hit right there. Just went with it. Perfect, perfect. I like it. Now, we need Chris Davis to do what Chris Davis does and crush some baseballs. I'll take that. We're, we're, we're looking good here. We're looking good. There it is. Oh, it's starting to happen. We're warming up. Crush Davis with the homer. We're within one. There it is. Fifth of the season. Woo. That was, that was a beautiful swing. Right down the middle. Yeah, I understand that. But look at that. You still got to put contact on it. And he ripped it. Left center field. Absolutely crushed. And we're back within one. A little a little late flurry. All starts with Michael Lorenzen getting on base. Hermesio moves him over. And now look at this. Look, oof. Beautiful. Love it. Look at that. He already he knew it right off the bat. Right off the bat. And that's it for Spencer Howard. It's gonna be Brett Martin coming in. Um You know what? It's whatever. It's fine. We're there's no point in changing the catcher just for this situation here. We'll just we'll just kind of make him work. Rondon comes in to pinch hit because he hits lefties better. And look at that. A single right up the middle. Two out. Maybe a little two out rally here. Nico Goodrum should be up next. And he hits lefties a lot better too. So this could be our chance. 65 speed. A hit to the gap. Might be able to score him. So we just got to be patient. That was the pitch. That was the pitch. Up in the zone. Little late on it. Mm. That is. Mm. And that's going to be a ground out. Oh, that's tough. That's so tough. All right, three runs though. We're back in it. We just need one good inning. One good inning, no runs allowed, and we just got to walk it off. That'd be huge. All right, we're going to bring in McCarthy. I want him to just just hold the lead. I know, bringing in your closer, not ideal, but the way our bullpen's been, let's just bring in someone that I, I have a little bit of faith in, at least, hopefully. There's a good start. There's a good start. Make the play at first. There we go. All right, come on. Get moving. Get moving. Look at the toss. There we go. There we go. I like this. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Two quick outs. If we can get Adolis Garcia out, this would be huge. Hey, I like that spot. I like that spot a lot for this splitter. We're going to challenge him with the fastball. Probably a dumb idea, but we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. A walk on four pitches. Not what I wanted. He's starting to miss some spots now, which not ideal. But, I mean, it's not like he's missing by a lot either. So, I don't, I don't hate what I'm seeing here. It's just we got, we got to get it in the strike zone, like that. We can't, we can't have that. Come on. All right, we get him to chase. We get him to chase. Three, two. Let's go with the changeup. I have faith. I have faith. We're gonna get it. Oh, just, just barely, just barely. All right, sinker in on the hands. Sinker in on the hands. Make the play. Make the play. We're going to go to the ninth down by one. Let's walk it off. Let's walk it off here. All right, Jonathan Hernandez comes in for them. So he's two for two on save opportunities. All right, let's 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 uh, let's make it two for three. Sinker slider changeup. I thought it was a fastball. That sinker had me a little fooled. I'm not going to lie. All right, a strikeout. I mean, I was not expecting a slider up and in. Like, what is that? What what was that? A slider up and in on a it was like two two. Who's throwing a slider up and in? Two two. Apparently that guy, and I'm late on this sinker, man. Ugh. O2 now. Man, not the best inning for us. No. 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 Mm, that's one of those where like you don't mean to do it, but you do it and Alright, we're doing it. We're we're letting Michael Lorenzen try to keep it alive here. What a story this would be. I was late on the changeup, dude. Oh. 
All right, a little early on the slider now. Oh, two. This is not ideal at all. This is tough. This is tough. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. We came back. We came back. But, man. That's tough. That's a tough loss there. I don't like that one. That one hurts. All right, let's get a couple games forward. Let's see how things turn out. I mean, we didn't even beat the Rockies, man. This is this is going to be rough. Like this is this is a clear indicator if we're the worst team in the league or if we can compete a little bit with the worst teams in the league. Being in the West though, that definitely does hurt us as we didn't get swept. We did beat the Orioles once. We beat them once. Um yeah. So not ideal. Not ideal as we head into the situation against, or the series against situation, the series against the Texas Rangers. And I mean, do I really want to get embarrassed by the Houston Astros? Because that game was tough. I have a feeling that game was going to be good enough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end it with the trade. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end it with a trade. And then next episode, we'll have Art Saunders in the game. We've got Michael Lorenzen. We gave him a shot. He was one for four. He did strike out twice, which is unfortunate. But you know what? He started the little bit of a rally that we had. And honestly, he's having a really good pitching here too. So I think he's going to be a, a piece that we could use quite often. I want a pitcher. I think I, we just need a pitcher. We need a pitcher. I'm not going to go out and get like a Shane Bieber. I might even get two pitchers, a reliever and a starter. Nothing too crazy, but you know, maybe someone like a Zach Thompson, a Maury Hone, but maybe like a little bit more polished. You know what I mean? Someone that's like that that can really just slide in into this spot. Cause we're we're getting absolutely shelled. And our bullpen's getting a little little roughed up too. So let's let's just try to find a little bit of depth just to help us out. Because even if we look at AAA, like they're doing well for triple a standards but like realistically we just we need a little bit of help so let's go let's see is there anybody here Corey kluber alex cobb brett anderson cueto honestly maybe a trade isn't worth it you know like because let's see like alcantara is too good like that's that's something that i don't want or erman lucchese Let's see here. Reynaldo Lopez. Reynaldo Lopez is one of those guys that like is trying to get his get his career back on track. I did see a comment about Tuki Tucson. So maybe I'll, I'll take a look at Tuki Tucson. I know Sean Newcomb's another one of those pitchers that like people kind of are unsure about. And I, I feel like Braves fans kind of want him out more so than in. So that'd be a name that I'd be kind of interested as well. So let's let's see. What is what is Tuki Tucson up to? He's probably I'm assuming he's still with the Braves. Let's see here. Where is he? Is he a reliever? He is. He's actually doing really well, though. How did he do last year? He didn't pitch at all. He's doing well, so I don't want to take him from the Braves. If he's doing well, I don't want to take him from the Braves. So I'm thinking more so, let's see here. What do we got going on? Maybe a little bit lower down here. So like Jorge Lopez, I'm out on. Sean Newcomb, he's having a good year. Didn't really have a good year last year. Sean Newcomb would be someone that I'd be interested in. And then who was the other name that I saw? Like a Reynaldo Lopez. How did he do last year? 89 innings. He has B potential. He's 28 years old. He's got one more year of control. If we don't like him, we flip him at the deadline. You know what I mean? Same thing with like a Lucchese, right? If we don't like him, flip him at the deadline. And I feel like two guys who are trying to get back on track, get their careers on track. I think Reynaldo Lopez had an okay season last year from what I remember. I, I think so. Let's see. Ronaldo Lopez. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Lopez, Lopez, Lopez. Let's see. Last year, he finished with... Nope, I don't want minor league numbers. I want MLB numbers. Yeah, 3-4 ERA. His whip was 0.95. He had, a, he had a good year last year. Good year. Oh, yeah. He had, a, he had a solid season. Solid season. So, I'm thinking... As I kind of look at the numbers some more. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe a Lucchese. Do we need a lefty? Do we need another lefty? We could use a lefty. So I think I think a trade for Lucchese 
Let's let's make that move. If he's on the trade block, let's go and pick him up. I'm assuming it's not going to take much to get him. Two years of team control is not too bad. So let's see who could be someone. Buddy Reed gets us pretty close to the deal. We have plenty of outfielders like we've talked about. So I feel like we'll be okay there. And then maybe like Elvis Andrews. And then we could just go and get an infield bat from free agency. We get rid of some of that contract too. But at the same time, is a team going to want that contract? Probably not. So let's go. Let's go with Buddy Reed and Mikey White for Joey Lucchese. That'll be the trade that we do there. And then a bullpen arm. Did, did I see any bullpen arms available? I think they were kind of towards the bottom. Scott Barlow. Whistler or Weisler, Minter, Knable, Steckenrider, we got Brebia, Miller, Tim Hill, Britton, yeah, not a, oh, Phil Matten's an interesting one, didn't pitch last year or this year so far, if they don't want him, I, I'd actually be interested, or Brent Suter, I'd be interested in as well, he'll probably give us a season, Jace Fry normally doesn't do well, he's kind of on my no trade list, you know what let's let me know what you guys think uh, uh give me a reliever and then i'm also really interested in vidal Bruhan. but like give me some more trades i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna leave it there we get a new pitcher we let michael lorenzen join the squad at the offensive side of things but let me know let me know uh, a position player most likely an infielder elvis andrews i just really don't like um nico goodrum's been decent but i feel like we could use just in case somebody gets hurt too if someone gets hurt, we're in a lot of trouble. So let me know it. Maybe an infielder. And then maybe a pitcher as well. Pitcher, reliever, you know, you know the deal. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Give me, give me some ideas. Give me some ideas in the comment section down below. Obviously, I don't want to see, you know, get De Jacob deGrom or get Mike Trout. But like, let's 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 come up with somebody somebody. And then next episode, we'll get the Art Saunders debut. Maybe move them up to AAA. We'll see how things go in AA. But we'll see how things go. I, I, I like where we ended there. We get that one game in. It didn't go great. But I do like the camera that we I'm, I'm settling on. I feel like we're starting to figure things out. The new edition of Joey Lucchese will help us out. And I think that's good for today's. I know it might be a little bit shorter of an episode. But we'll get some more over the weekend. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, thumbs up down below. Of course, in the comment section, let me know. Trades. Poss maybe free agent signing. I guess I could look at that really quick with you guys just to see if you guys like any of the names there like a Kluber, a Cobb let's see what else there's some other ones down here as well if you guys see anything maybe reliever they are a little bit older so that's why I'm thinking maybe trading for a reliever might be a little bit better just because these guys are going to fall off in rating pretty quickly I looked at Jacob Barnes he's got deep potential though so there's that and then it's kind of what we're working with but you guys can kind of see the names here that are around free agency like i said th there's a couple that look decent there's a couple i know some of you guys mentioned we could get the the franchise bat matt duffy i think some i think someone mentioned taylor walls in the comment section last time so there's definitely some names out there that we could pick up so let me know what you guys think i definitely think there are some that we could look into rather than trading but if you guys can come up with a pretty good name to trade for, I'd be down as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like I've said 47 times already. That's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.